do environmental soup uh, through the facilities of Trent Radio or on Twitch um, if you're watching this live I'm Ribolt 88A um, and today I will be talking about biodiversity in Canada uh, as a report came out about that um, and the conference of the parties at uh, 15 um, of the United Nations Biodiversity Conference is coming up um, and the report is the Wild Species 2020, the general status of species in Canada. And that is reported in the Norwell um, newspaper. Um, so yes, uh, those, the article is called more than 5,000 wild species are at some risk of extinction in Canada. But five species are at risk of ex extinction or disappearing from Canada. I, I guess I should start with saying like why uh, people uh, might care about um, the biodiversity. Uh, those medicine. Well, people should care because of nature itself. Nature being um, beings, they should be protected. But if you don't care about that, um, then there's also medicine uh, in different species. Um, and we should also be care, take care not to uh, expropriate um, medicine from indigenous cultures uh, that have or natures, na nations that have happened um, that has happened and is happening um, and over exploitation um, which would um, make the medicine um, invalidated um, why certain wildlife species are um, good at cleaning ecosystems? Um, they're the janitors. I was at a webinar that was saying that total species are janitors of ecosystem. And is my yeah? It looks like it's on. Um. And so there's that aspect. Let's see. And then it talks about the the report was from the Canadian Endangered Spe Species Con Conservation Council. Um, there, was, there was a news conference on November 29th. Um, and then there was the saying that habitat loss is the greatest threat of um, driver of extinction. Um, and that's because of fragmentation of habitat, um, building housing on wetlands, um, my, any human activity that's deforestation. Um, and I should also say that, like, Diseases all in, can increase when there's less biodiversity. Our pandemics are 
those results indicating that pandemics are, are, are more frequent when there's less biodiversity, more species extinction. Um, oh, I didn't read this. Uh, 24 mammal species, 43 fish, 9 amphibians, 17 reptiles, 50 birds, 230 lichen, 25 dragon and damselfly, 195 beetle species, 15 bee species, and 188 butterfly and moth species. Um, more than 100 species are at risk of extinction. And, more, and then the article says that more than 1 million species around the world face extinction due to human activity. And then there's the United Nations re report. With uh, habitat loss, uh, there is a connection with uh, Bill 23 as it takes powers away from conservation authorities to look at land conservation. Um, and Bill 23 was the Build More Homes Faster Act that passed. Um, and a Municipalities are fighting against the bill because of loss of development uh, fee, development charges uh, to pay for infrastructural. And then there's like urban, increased urban sprawl, which increases uh, fragmentation. Um, and if you're going to be building on protected land, then there's increased loss of habitat, uh, direct habitat. Um, and loss of agricultural sites as well. Um, and then, so the, there was a clear connection. And then uh, I, th I think it's connected with Bill 23, uh, the changes to the Ontario Wetland Evaluation Manual. Uh, does not consider endangered species um, anymore, and that will put a lot of wetlands at risk as well. Provincially significant wetlands can be reevaluated uh, at any time, so there's greater risk of loss of habitat and small wetlands, which will play a significant role in wetland habitat um, and algae bloom uh, reduction um, uh, due to reduction in phosphorus loading um, and the, the different shapes of wetlands that they are at greater risk. Um, we need a lot of small wetlands um, and vulnerable pools, uh, especially for salamanders. Um, so, um, yeah, so that definitely species at risk will be, um, impacted by the new legislation, um, and people are still fighting, uh, the legislation in court, and, um, you can use build, uh, the Environmental Bill of Rights. I might go over the Environmental Bill of Rights and how to use it uh, next week and have a dedicated chat chat about that, maybe in um, Twitter spaces or something like that. Uh, so those those are huge um, amounts connected with this. It's not in the report because it's talking about 2020 and it's also funded by the government so uh, in part. Uh, so the, I, I don't think that they'll be too critical of um, what provincial governments are doing but they did they did say that provincial governments have to step up. Um, Oh, I will go to the section on Ottawa. Oh, it says uh, 21,999 species are unknown due to lack of information. 
And this this uh, report uh, was increased the amount of species covered, um, but it doesn't. Even though it's like a hundred and eighty something pages long, doesn't cover all the species. Um, and then there's a section called Ottawa promises action to pr pr protect at risk species in the Norwell article. Um, and it says, um, quote, many of the natural spaces and species we love are under threat from human activity and climate change. Uh, and I think this is from Stephen Gilbert. Um, uh, many of the natural spaces and species we love are under threat from human activity and climate change. This rapid decline of biodiversity has critical implications for humanity and uh, from the collapse of food, e economic, and health systems to the disruption of entire supply chains. Um, and then it says that Canada has made commitments to protect 30% of land and waters by 2030. Um, this has not been met. Uh, especially in Ontario, and it matters where you place the protections and how. Uh, there was a report and um, the in there was a report uh, from the environmental commissioner that pointed out that less than zero point zero zero three percent of land was added for protection uh, between 2018 and um, 2020, I believe. I'll have to check out the numbers, but I believe it included uh, some of the times that the liberals were in power and some of the time that the conservatives were in power. And the, the conservatives are still in power. Um. Yeah, so Ottawa is contributing more money, um, and hopefully they are more serious about uh, protecting endangered species. And then it's saying that uh, provinces such as Ontario need to have more action. They signed all the provinces. Oh, where was this? Oh, this is the... And, uh, all the provinces except for Nunavut and Quebec, uh, because Nunavut wasn't territory at the time, signed on to the National Code for the Protection of Species at Risk, and Ontario weakened endangered species uh, legislation. Um, and... This says that um, those we recognize that species do not recognize jurisdictional boundaries and cooperation is crucial to the con conservation and protection of species at risk. The conservation of species at risk is a key component of the Canadian biodiversity strategy, which aims to conserve biological diversity in Canada. Governments have a leadership role in providing sound information and appropriate measures for the conservation and protection of species at risk, and the effective involvement of all Canadians is essential. Species conservation initiatives will be met through com complementary federal, provincial, territorial legislation, regulations, policies, and programs. Stewardship activities contributing to conservation of species must be supported as an integral element in preventing species from becoming at risk. Lack of full scientific certainty must not be used as a reason to delay measures to avoid or minimize threats to species at risk. So this, uh, the last one, um, the provincial government is, uh, is ignoring um, I believe, by um, not 
by delaying protections of endangered species uh, that are recommended by um, so, certain by uh, an organization that determines scientific organization that determines what is a endangered species um, or threatened species, and they're delaying new new uh, endangered species from being added for a period of two years, I believe. So that is um, problematic. I want to see if anyone's in the chat. Uh, no, there's no one in the chat, but feel free to um, to make comments at any time. Uh, and I'm also on uh, uh, Twitter. Um, and I don't, when am I called on? Oh, uh, Twitter, uh, um, Rob Gibson underscore PTBO is what I use most frequently on that. Um, So yeah, so I'm there on uh, Twitter. Um, so yeah, I don't think that um, they're following through. And we can use that uh, argument in a uh, request to repeal um, the harmful um, Build More Homes Faster Act, which won't result in more housing. Um, and I can go talk about that in more detail in a separate episode. Um, or if there's still time. And then this is what the, the provinces and territories agree to. Uh, we agree to participate in the Canadian Endangered Species Conservation Council in order to coordinate all activities and resolve issues for the protection of species at risk in Canada. Recognize the Committee of the Status of Endangered Wildlife in Canada as a source of independent advice on the status of species at risk nationally and establish complementary legislation and programs that provide for effective protection of species at risk throughout Canada and that will address all native wildlife, wild species, provide an independent process for assessing the status of species at risk, legally designate species as threatened or endangered, provide immediate legal protection for threatened or endangered species. So any delay from legislation is in violation of this agreement. Provide protection for the habitat of threatened or endangered species. Provide for the development of recovery strategies within one year of endangered species and two years for threatened species that address the identified threats to species and its habitat. Ensure multi-jurisdictional cooperation for the protection of species that cross borders through the development and implementation of recovery strategies. Consider the needs of species at risk as part of environmental assessment processes. Implement recovery strategies in a timely fashion. Monitor, assess, and report regularly on the status of all wild species. Emphasize preventative measures to keep species from becoming at risk. Imp improve awareness of the need of species at risk. Encourage citizens to participate in conservation and protection actions. Recognize, foster, and support effective and long-term stewardship by resource users and managers, land donors, and other citizens, and provide for effective enforcement. Before any disputes that may arise under this accord to the Canadian Endangered Species Conservation Council for resolution. So I believe that the government has not acted. Oh, and I, I should uh, has not acted with this in mind with 
changes to the uh, Endangered Species Act, um, changes to um, Conservation Authorities Act, that they can't look at conservation of land or pollution. Um, and I should mention that those planned activity for the, the weekend, uh, Saturday, December 3rd, uh, on this, um, or those, those being planned. Um, so there's that, um, and then I'll look at the, who's in the chat. Oh, I see one person is listening, so thank you um, for joining. Um, always appreciate it. Uh, feel free to uh, comment in, in the chat. Um, so I have... Oh. Um, what was it? So I have the the actual report. It's loading. Um, so they have a photo of a mushroom. Um, on the cover page. They have graphics of all the uh, species. Um, and then they have different, they talk about the different species. Um, I'm just scrolling down to find it. Um, different graphs. Oh, this is interesting. Um, they have a uh, species richness, um, number of species, and species richness is the number of species per kilometer squared. Um, and an area in kilometers. And then Ontario looks to be like in the middle of, of the pack in terms of um, species richness. I think that's how it's organized. Um, and then no more species that may be at risk. No more species that may be at risk has uh, increased from 2000 to 2020 and it looks to be a linear uh, relationship and uh, there's a pie graph but oh yeah I guess I could look at uh, I found it by typing in wetland. Okay, so okay, so this is why we should care. Um, this is talking about a few selected flies. Um, agitated deal fly is one, um, and it's saying that. Um, I'm just looking for it. Though an excellent pollinator 
Um, their second in importance after wasps, bees, um, and their relatives. They recycle waste, um, such as dung and corpses, uh, which is important uh, for removing uh, diseases as, as well. Uh, and the main threats include pesticides, water pollution, and degradation to wetlands and forced habitat. Uh, and then wait. Yeah, and yeah, so it looks like I, I just have f five minutes left, or well, under five minutes. So, I will remind you to look at um, the Environmental Bill of Rights. Um, I'm just going to go down now. Um, and some other news, and that uh, is the Hamilton uh, leak uh, has been cleaned up uh, after 20, over 20 years of leaking. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to type in environmental registry. Um, there, was a there was a challenge by the uh, Green Party leader Mike Schweinel, um, an, an investigation into whether or not people knew, had inside knowledge, uh, and the NDP are asking some more questions. Um, Yeah, so I'm just going to quickly look at what's been posted, if I end up having time. Mini Mills Industry Standard um, is one of them, January 13th. Um, proposed changes to the Ontario Heritage Act and its regulations. This relates to Bill 23. The proposed more homes built faster act. And you can comment on this until December 9th. So some sections of the act have are still under the environmental bill of rights. Uh, so you can comment after the act is passed, which is illegal under the environmental bill of rights. So that is a huge issue. The province broke the law. Um, and but I encourage you to uh, write uh, uh, because it will help in any legal case. Uh, and uh, it, the province is supposed to uh, take consideration. Um, Yeah, uh, there's that. Um, so December 9th, those planning, proposed planning act and City of Toronto Act changes. Um, proposed amendments to the Oil, Gas and Salt Resources Act to remove the prohibition on carbon sequestration. Um, updated statement of environmental values for Treasury Board Secretariat. Legislative and regulatory proposals affecting conservation authorities to support the Housing Supply Action 3.0. And 
And yeah, thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of your night. Yeah, um, so yeah, so I just ended the, the radio uh, show. Yes. Um. um. Pose amendments to the green belt plan. Uh, changes to sewage system, energy efficiency. Um, view of a place to grow and provincial policy statement. Um, yeah, so I don't think anyone else is listening. There are some other ones. Um, the Canadian Environmental Law Association is a good resource. Uh, environmental Defense um, and others. Um, and I don't see anyone in the chat, so I will uh, head, uh, head off for the night. Uh, and enjoy, and I'll see you uh, next week or oil, potentially. Um, but I'll, I'll only come out on on Tuesday uh, evenings like this.